would have just moved on from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. But you just had to bring it back. You told me... Let the past die. Kill it, if you have to. Then you sucked me back in with this ridiculousness. That's right, it's your man Z with Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I was willing to forget and forgive Obi-Wan Kenobi and just move on with my life. I'd already said, Forget about it, you know? I had already moved on, but then I read this article, which caused me to reflect again on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Didn't break Star Wars canon. It fixed it. And the thing that... You know, I read a lot of reviews. I did my own reviews. I listened to a lot of stuff. And I listened to the wise old men from Red Letter Media who told me, Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. I tried so hard to consume product. Just forget about it. But no, they had to bring me back in with this ridiculous article from CBRE. And I'm not going to break down all the canon. I just want people to understand how it feels because they just say ridiculous things. One of the great things about the larger Star Wars universe is its inconsistencies. Right. That's what's so great about it. I just love the fact that people were worried that Obi-Wan Kenobi would break canon. Now it's clear it only adds to the emotional layers. Just adds to them. The official st Star Wars canon is inconsistent. You know, from The Mandalorian, which I barely consider canon, to Star Wars Aftermath by Chuck Wendig. What? Why? All right. Can, do me a favor, Mr. Writer of said article. And I will not call you out by name, but just read Timothy Zahn and... That entire trilogy, the Thrawn series, like the Thrawn trilogy, what are you talking about? Like The fact that Star Wars is such a hot garbage show is because they destroyed everything that came before any of the writings, aired in the Empire, all of it gone. And then they like can't keep track of their own stuff anymore. It's like nobody cares. Nobody even pays attention. It's just ridiculous. There's, <laughs> they talk about the flashbacks, how awesome seeing old man Hayden Christensen was. It takes on new weight because he was humiliated by his master. Humiliated. Absolutely humiliated. You know, murdering younglings doesn't matter to anyone anymore if your fifis were hurt. And then they add more weight, you know, to that part where it's like, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Feels so much more personal now. Even though when <laughs> they're trying to explain it, this is shill media. Trying to explain away things. You know, when Leia escapes the Death Star and she's like, gee, that's really sad for you, Luke. I don't care at all about this Obi-Wan Kenobi guy at all because I still have to pretend I don't know him. Right. I'm just like, stop using one-liners to wave away stuff. It's fine. I don't care. If you enjoyed this, enjoy it. Whatever. Just don't tell me to eat a big bag of garbage and expect me to like it. Like, just don't tell me. If I've seen the movies like five times, don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't even care. Yeah, don't even try. It's bare. <laughs> yeah, I made a big deal about the Darth point where Obi-Wan referred to him as Darth as a way to mock him. And then he says it, he says it as if it's his best friend. Like... Darth is gone now. Like, see you later, Darth. Besides the fact in the Obi-Wan series where it, it, they clearly just... They they both say, no, neither one of us is going to live leave here alive. When we all know they're not going to die because they show up in the next movie. Don't remember that. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just consume product. Be excited for next product. The only thing I really did enjoy about the series, and I, I enjoyed one scene because I think... Hayden Christensen, in his five minutes of acting in this six-episode nonsense garbage, got to try real hard to act. And, you know, I don't have favorable feelings for the prequels. I just mostly feel bad for everyone who was in it or part of it because it's all crazy hot garbage. But I did appreciate this one scene, and I think Ewan McGregor tries real hard 
it's kind of enjoyable. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. I did. Oh, yes. Look at that purple lighting. It, the hilarious thing is if you watch all of everyone's reviews, including Red Letter Media's, every review that you see, every every shot is so dark you can't tell what's going on. You just have no idea. Obi-Wan was tearing it up, being so sad. It was enjoyable. But other than that, I just I don't understand this hot garbage. I guess if you don't actually care about Star Wars, much like Red Letter Media, you just don't care anymore. And it's like, eh, whatever. Consume products. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It would have been, it probably would have been an okay movie or a six episode series. It was disrespectful and stupid. So this article continues to go on like, this is, it wasn't disrespectful at all. And nothing in the show breaks Star Wars canon or disrespects the storytelling legacy that came before it. Instead, these stories we've known for so long are a little fresher for the next rewatch. You've clearly, you're just not a Star Wars fan. Like, you're just, who paid you for this? And then, of course, they talk about the Taika Waititi series, which is going to move even further away from the George Lucas Skywalker trilogy. Fine. I don't care. Do whatever you want at this point. I, I you forget about it because that's what I'm going to do. As for us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, I hope I earned your like and subscribe today. I really do. I think we try uh, to give you something good, something to think about. In the meantime, you can catch our full-length audio podcast and live stream. It's recorded uh, live, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. You can catch the podcast itself, the audio version, free to you on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. Just search for Our Reviews Will Kill You. But as for me, I'm just on to the next one. Uh -huh.